It is all of the joy of experiencing King County's best trails with none of the hassle of finding a parking spot because that is a big one. Mm -hmm. And Trailhead Direct has been a huge success. So we've got Dow Constantine, the King County Executive here live in studio to talk about this program and the future. Dow, good morning. Thanks for hanging with us. Well, good morning. Thanks for having me. By the way, we, I just always like to ask, uh, coffee guy? And if so, what's your flavor of choice? Uh, coffee, black. Really? Yeah. See, I'm oh, just okay. water. What's yours, Michelle? Coffee black. Yeah, mm -hmm. see, all right, so yeah. two out of three. All right, so what is this program? For people who are like, what, Trailhead, what is the program? So Metro Transit and King County Parks got together and created a program that would let people get out to our wilderness without having to bring a car. And it's called Trailhead Direct. Uh, we tested it out for the last two years. It's been a big success. What it means is if you don't have a car or you don't want to bring your car with you, you can still get to places like Mount Si, Cougar Mountain, the Issaquah Alps, Mailbox Peak, and have a great hike in real wilderness and be back in time for dinner. With and how does bus? it all work? Oh, sorry. So, sorry. so uh, <laughs> you can pick up the shuttle at any of four light rail stations from University Street to Capitol Hill all the way to Tukwila. And uh, then you can make transfers at transfer sites in uh, Issaquah, North Bend, and Crossroads so you can reach the entire network. And then it'll take you out to the mountains. And the exciting thing about it is uh, for folks who can't afford a car or for those who choose not to have a car, and more and more young mm -hmm. people are choosing not to have a car, you still have access to everything this region has to offer. We want people to be out there hiking, to take advantage of this. And uh, 17,000 people went out and hiked on Trailhead Direct this year. Oh, oh no kidding. You know, I actually think Jordan Steele has done it before. Oh, our meteorologist mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so didn't they wait around for you? Or what if, do you have to go to, on the hike for a certain amount of time? Or they come back no, every they, hour? they come back and they pick you up. And in on some of the trails, you can even go up one side of the mountain and be picked up on the other oh, side. Really? Oh, uh, convenient. There was a 75% increase in ridership this year. And one of the real advantages is that uh, we don't have so many cars parking around these trailheads, mm -hmm. parking illegally, parking even unsafely. Uh, a lot of times you'd go out there and you're trying to get away from it all, but you end up in a, a huge sea of parked cars. So this is a way that we can uh, really address a lot of different priorities and make our wilderness more accessible to more people. I definitely understand that when you go to a trailhead and you're like, ah, oh, I have to park mm -hmm. kind of in the ditch and kind of on the road. Um, I'm just wondering, where do you see this growing well, next year? This has been a partnership with the city of Seattle, thanks to the voters who approved uh, the Seattle transit measure. That funding, much of it will go away if initiative 976 passes next Tuesday. But we've had a partnership with Seattle and then with REI and with the folks who make Cliff Bars to help us promote the service. We need to uh, build an even bigger partnership so that we can bring this back next year and the year after. It's available on weekends and holidays and it's a great service, uh, a real unique way in which this region uh, can show its true personality. You mentioned that the funding could be tenuous depending on the election in a couple mm -hmm. of weeks. What is the cost of this program annually right now? Uh, you know, I was just asking our folks and I'm going to get you those figures. It, the, the, the cost of it is actually pretty reasonable compared to some of the alternatives. Uh, we are looking at making it even more efficient by bringing full-sized buses out there so we can carry more people. We've been using these smaller shuttles uh, over the last two years. And we've tested out bringing a 40-foot bus that mm -hmm. could carry more people, and that will work on most of our uh, trailheads with the exception of one. So that'll be an innovation for next year. Right. Right. And just real quick question, how can people learn more? Or where do they go to sign up? Go to kingcounty.gov okay. and you can visit the Metro Transit website or uh, our King County Parks website. And again, I want to thank the folks at the City of Seattle. They pay for fully half the service inside the City of Seattle and REI and Cliff Bar for being such strong supporters of Trailhead Direct. All right. Okay. Dow Constantine, thanks so much for joining thanks us. So much. Amanda Black Coffee.